I get hammered this morning with rain. Mm. Yeah, and I didn't fuel up last night, which I should have done. I knew we stopped in here, and now uh, I had to fuel up this morning, so... I mean, they still do have a tag over there, but I had to go run inside, grab me my fuel receipt. <laughs> Kinda got a little wet, but hey, wet ain't gonna hurt us, right? We're gonna dry up eventually. But yeah, now it's pouring again like crazy. And we had a couple of thunders, uh, lightning uh, uh, strikes there, very close to us. Like not too far from the truck stop there, there was one lightning that hit us there. But it didn't hit us directly, but you know, very close to us. But yeah, we're getting our morning started. Got 300 miles to go. GPS says uh, five minutes after 12 should be there, so we do have a little bit of time. We're supposed to be there by one, so that gives us one hour in case we get some traffic or stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, we should be uh, we should be in pretty good shape this morning or just today. Let's hope so anyways. We're gonna go make our delivery in Oklahoma City. Yeah. We still haven't gotten no reloads yet, but uh, hey, that's the way it is. Going to uh, see what happens when we get unloaded, right? Maybe then we'll get something decent or whatever, get some information. Well, you had a good night's sleep, eh? Yeah, there was a little light. Yeah, we'll see how far we have to drive in this side. Uh, doubted if we will be in it all day long, but I know we were in it for a good while there yesterday, but oh well. It's been really humid and hot for the last couple of, well, basically for the last week, so, you know, this is probably a, re a result of that, you know. That's what I'm thinking. But anyways, we'll put the hammer down and we'll make our way to Oklahoma. All right, guys, we are still cruising a light along this I-44, yes, indeed. The sun is starting to peek through finally. After a couple of hours of driving, it's been pretty cloudy, but now it's starting to clear up a little bit. Yes, indeed it is. Uh-huh. And we are happy to report we got us a reload. Or a reload offer, anyways. We're uh, going to be uh, going to Kansas City, Missouri tomorrow. Pick up a load over there, and then uh, we're supposed to bring that load back home. Home sweet home. So we'll be going home from here. Well, that's awesome. Awesome news. We've been on the road for a good while now. Well, it's actually been a full week today. So we'll be on a, no, actually yesterday it was a full week already. So we've been on the road for over a week. Today is already Wednesday. I was thinking Tuesday, but it's actually Wednesday today. Yeah, so it's time to go home. We used up just about all our clothes that we have in the truck, so it's time to get uh, some clothes washed and take a little break. Spend some time with the family. Although we do have our son with us today. And he has been with us for the whole week. But got to spend some time with the wife and my daughter as well. Yeah. But we're going to go to Kansas City, Missouri. For tomorrow afternoon pick up there. And then we're going to get home. Yeah. But at least we'll have some good miles in this whole trip. That's kind of what I was hoping for anyways. So we'll just go home and probably just do a reset. And then we'll go again. But uh, especially since the last, well, the last couple of days that's been happening. Well, the last month basically. Spending a lot of money on the truck. So, so yeah, we need to uh, work hard to pay all of this stuff off. So... We're just going to do a reset and go again. Don't know exactly.
exactly when we'll be home yet, but tomorrow's going to be Thursday. So I kind of suspect we won't get home till Saturday. But that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll be off Saturday and Sunday then. And try and go out on Monday again, I suppose. But we'll see how it goes. We'll go make our delivery here in Oklahoma City first. And then we'll put the hammer down towards... Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. I mean, I can't really rush it too much down there because it says my appointment is anytime between 1 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I guess I can't pick up there before that time, so we will have a little bit of time so we don't have to rush down there, but we do want to make our way down that way, though. It's, it's always good to do that. Get some good miles behind us today, and then that way, once we get our load tomorrow, we can still make a couple of hours yet. And then, uh, we might even be able to be home Friday night. You never know, it'll depending on how many hours we get in tomorrow, I suppose. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But, anyways, we'll continue cruising along here. We'll see what happens, right? We are done getting unloaded. Yeah. We got there about quarter after 12 uh, Manitoba time, which is the same time as here. But uh, hey, they had no problem with us taking uh, taking us a little earlier. Absolutely no problem. My appointment was for one o'clock. No problem. It's actually a couple of minutes after one o'clock right now and we're already leaving. Only was only there for 45 minutes. That's it. Now we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna make our way towards our reload. Yes, indeed. We had had exactly perfectly 15 minutes on duty for unloading and then half an hour off. Perfect. We don't even need to take another half an hour. We're good to go. We can basically just get out of Oklahoma City before the rush hour starts. Now that's fantastic news. At least for me it is. Yeah, we only got to do 3.2 miles to uh, get back to the interstate. So that means a few traffic lights here and there. But other than that, hey, we're not going to complain at all. It is a hot day out here, though. That is a fact. It is very steamy hot out here. But we had enough time off over there to update my website letting everybody know where we're going just perfect timing that's the way we like it right Diego yeah that's right look at these beautiful buildings up here eh? nice homes eh? yeah or what do you think guys nice homes up here nice community it looks like in order to have a nice community you need to have a good job in order to have a good job you need to have a good factory somewhere that can provide a good job for you or a good business is another word you need to have a good business somewhere so obviously they do have a good business up here we just delivered something up there and they were very nice people yes indeed very nice gentleman there uh, was in the shipping office there and i should probably say he was a black man and he was the nicest guy i've ever met very very nice guy like he very professional like he's like you know i hope to see you here again and all that kind of stuff like you hardly ever get that kind of attitude from any of these shippers and receivers you know it was a very good experience there that is a fact he's like i want to make sure you get paid and like i want to make sure i sign your your right bill and so that way you can get paid and so that way we know you will come back here again he said if we don't make sure you get paid you will never come back here again and like that kind of attitude like he was very nice I, I couldn't say one bad thing about that place absolutely not if every shipper was like this man trucking would be so much fun it sure would be i really enjoyed going to this place i would definitely come back here again that's a fact quick in and out very nice people what better can you ask for oh yeah no damage on the product we did our job they did their job everybody's happy yes indeed 
but that's the way it goes most of the times not all the times but except for the niceness I don't get that very often the way this person was yeah anyways enough of that let's get out of here let's get out of Oklahoma look at these beautiful flowers David I bet your mom would love that oh yeah uh-huh all the women love that kind of stuff so mind you I do love flowers myself so I'm not gonna say men don't like flowers I really do too yeah my wife bought me some flowers the other day as you guys saw somebody was making a joke about it it might have been plastic flowers that's why they lasted so long and no they weren't they definitely weren't plastic flowers it's all about taking care of them that's what it is yeah anyways we're gonna get out of here we'll talk with you guys in a few all right guys we are now in kansas yeah we have left oklahoma behind yes indeed we have and it is crazy hot out here again that is a fact it's like 35 degrees celsius right now just insanely hot again yep that's a fact but oh well that's all right we got ac in here barely but it's it's uh cooling us a little bit but not cold but cooling a little bit i guess but we at least don't have heavily winds out here so so that's good you see some uh what is that uh windmills or whatever they call them that's what i would want to call them but i wouldn't know yeah generators i guess wind generators to create hydro i guess sometimes it could be a little windy out here but today i guess is uh not one of those days where it's super windy at least not that I have noticed got a little bit of a debris going on but not much you know so that's good just cruising right on along here we still have uh, what now it says 200 something is going on with my GPS now before it was saying 200 miles or something like that now it's saying 240 miles that's weird I don't know what's going on over there but anyways uh, we're just cruising right on along here and yeah we only can pick up our load tomorrow at one so I'm not really rushing it to get uh, get down to Kansas City Missouri so whatever we still have plenty of time tomorrow morning to do it so I could actually just pull over right now and call it a day but we'll see Maybe we'll go up to the rest area up here and then uh, we'll see if we can maybe just pull in there and call it a day. But I don't really feel like continuing driving today any more than what I already have done, to be honest with you guys. But hey, that's the way it goes. Anyways, let's make our way down there wherever we end up and we'll talk with you guys later. All right, guys, I am done for today. Or shall we say we are done for today? Yep. Something like that anyways. And uh, I finally got it off of my chest today. I'm making that video about Thermal King. Obviously, you guys saw it already today, which, you know, it's the 27th of July and you are seeing this video seven days from today <laughs> so you probably have noticed that we've been kind of uh yesterday and today and the day before we haven't really had too much of a video so uh, i think we've got it off of our chest now so i think tomorrow we're gonna try make a better video right yep let's hope for it anyways but yeah i finally got that off of my chest and i feel much better now and I told them guys that I was gonna do that and they gave me the uh, A-OK -okay to go ahead and do that in the email as you guys saw it on the screen and so we went ahead and did that mm -hmm. now I feel good about it because uh, I'm always a man of my word and uh, if I say I'm gonna do something I'm gonna do it right oh yeah that's right we're teaching my son that's the way we got to do it if you say you're gonna do something you better do it because otherwise you're not a real man that's the way it goes in my opinion anyways but uh 
Hey, you know, we're here at a rest area here just across the border into Kansas. So, uh, yeah, we got 223 miles to go yet tomorrow to uh, get to our pickup there in Kansas City, Missouri. But, uh, hey, you know, we got all morning to do it. So we only got to be there between 1 and 3. So, but anyways, we're going to put our head down. So uh, let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye, everybody. We'll see you right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow morning. So don't go nowhere, eh? <laughs>